And I'm sure I don't remember the voice. Um, I passed the shop. I think that wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. I thought I started it, you know. So it makes two. So that makes you two the third generation. Meg, yes. Tomorrow, we'll start with the secrets of Dill Tossing. Dill Tossing? You're too, kid. Yes. You'll be the best pastor in the world, West of your Shemin. Pastor, Mangla? West? Is some pastor from Italy? Meg! Yes. Oh no, the best pasta has always been made with the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course, everybody knows that. No. Huh? How long do you have to keep this all this all the family trade? So mad not to know something about the murder. Not even until we find out what that is. Um this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This year is for the place pasta, palace of pasta, a wet noodle. Well, I wanted to mention it. We have not many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them out in <laughs> boats out there. Youngsters, he says, don't if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, is this isn't going anywhere. But this old man is a witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. Oh, I should hear you, Keith. Remember to try to call the pastor we were talking about? Uh, Ren... Boyoli. I figured out the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Oh, follow me. Damn it. Uh. Oh. No Russian here, okay? Well, I'm gonna try to tell the you're talking to. I'm in my family. You blue. I should hear this. What an amazing pair that is. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. me. Oh, you forget me. You gotta call a first name. The name. Pony, how you been? Hello, hello. Shay? Neat, so the pair's name is Polly. Too bad all she can do is say hello. Ha ha ha. Oh, Polly can say lots of things. Just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Hmm. That's my memory is short and wash of late. That's why I just saw everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, no wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick, all it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write the numbers down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little high schemes. I question Polly.
I'm actually here, okay? Well, I'm gonna try. Oh, okay. No. Alright, let's, let's go somewhere else. Uh. Yes, let's talk to. Let's talk to Gumshoe. Classic game, what's up with the. Oh man. Hey, Dr. Gumshoe was in here. Now that you mentioned it, didn't you see I had a meeting to go to? Oh, that's right, let's come back later. Something not working. Try this and figure it out. Look, Nick has an electronic blanket on his table. Looks warm. It's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot chocolate. You now, what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper. It's fishing pole looks expensive. Oh, it's lots of various fish here in the lake. So something's funny, Nick. Let's fish a saltwater fish. Look, a little safe. Hmm, it's locked. Wow, he has television here too. It's a pretty good question in it. He's running a pasta shop here. What's going on? Something should be going on, but it's not. Oh! Now this will show him I'm not running the new shop. That's an Oilers badge. Yes it is. I don't believe it. So guys, let's put some recognize my badge. Oh, I get it. Huh? Oh yep, I got you figured out now. Yeah, I'm not Keith. Nick, now's a chance to clear things up. Mm, sir? No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. 
Were you investigating a murder that took place on this night the other night? Please help us. Hmm. A lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But I want a condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, we will run the white noodle. Okay, we promise. Uh, ain't anything in this case left. So who wouldn't want to eat phoenix noodles? Oh, yes, so. That's my boy, good for you, okay? Hey, didn't you just say... Here's your make, ish. You're looking at here to your own man's eye, you know? No, I wish it will not speak up, boy. Hello, hello, They're stalking the bird again, how we get him to talk to us. Well, uh, I should this. You know something about like this, sir? Poof. Yes? It's your cat. You can call me dad. Dad, you know something about like this? Oh, uh, yep. It's the other night out on the bike. Yes, yes. Oh, my God, I've seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. Well, I forget the time. Well, it was pretty darkish outside. Probably night. Oh, yep. It was after midnight, but okay. I heard a sh bang. So I look outside. Then I heard another one. Bang! Oh, well, 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 the smoke comes back. Oh, the young man walks by my window here. This man is something to himself, well. What did he say? Oh, yep. Oh, I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what, eh? That old Harry was just here. Dearie. Well, I get next door. He always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat, got himself some whiskers growing on his face. As he talked about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? So I don't think we're going to get much use, sir. Monster you should allow me information out of this guy. Well, yeah, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Oh, don't forget, Leo Six Rock. Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget, Leo Six Rock. Why did Leo Six and Nick? Hey, Mister, I'm, I mean, Dad. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would the bird Polly know about DL Six? You have to figure out who that man is. Oh, what? Lock the door from the other side. Who can that man be? Thinking he'd do little movies from this TL6 incident. It's just gumshoe. Every time. Every time I almost. Detective 26. Police Department. Criminal Affairs. Hey, pal. Long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong with this time? Actually, we want to ask you something. Yeah. You know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh, yeah. The man who owns it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Hmm? How? How much will she be? That's supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided at first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lyda Hart yesterday. For who he is. We have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Hmm? We need to know about the DL6 incident. 
That was when Andrew's front and that's when Andrew's father died. Can't help but think that it has something to do with the current case. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Just read you forbid us from reading the file. So I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case. Well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. What's that? A parrot? The old man the boat friends are shot parrot. The parrot knew about the incident. That incident? DL6? What? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget DL6 what? Huh? I'm pretty sure the old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would... How would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if the old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? I get it. it sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there is the station's records room. Give me special permission to go in and find out what you need. Oh, right, where to go, Detective Gumshoe? Okay, Nick, to the records room! Guess it's time we face Ezra's past. <gasps> wow! It's amazing. Me, Dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find the deal sick stuff. Quick! Fifteen years ago, both me and Edge were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Nick! I found where the file is! Ooh, thanks, just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Suspect in there. Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm. That would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on, this is it. The man arrested as a suspect in was... Yanni Yogi. He was a clock in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much so, he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone, I wonder? To the boat rental shop. Memory issues, it's, it's him. Do you have any dad on the victim, Edra's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Yeah, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he was still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon and pistol was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Oh. So it's just like this current case. What's going on here? Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it. Here you go. 7 20, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator, the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Parts of the court building collapsed and the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. 
Tongue to three people trapped in the elevator. Took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. It'd be scary like that in the dark. There's lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. Survivors. One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot for his very eyes. Smiles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. I guess I know generally what happened in the DL6 now. So I don't know if the whole sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? This is too much, we'll never get it out. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Right. It's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now. All that's left is the child tomorrow. I wonder how Dad would do test Ryan in court. To be continued next time. Don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see updates.